this is my back rotor. Had brakes on it. Um, first thing I do is take your pin off, and you can take your calipers off. I just got two 916 inch bolts, and then you can start uh, getting to your hub. Most most bass boat trailers have brakes on the rear, and then your front hub uh, is just an idler, so it basically looks like this. So the first thing you want to do is get a hammer and walk this cap out. Wiggle that out, get rid of that. You should have new cotter keys with your bearing kit. And then take your uh, spindle nut off. Save that, and you're going to want to gently pull on your uh, hub out of there. You got a flat um, spindle washer, and then your outer bearing will come out with that. <clears throat> you, can get, you can get rid of these. I like to just check them now, make sure there's nothing that was crazy wrong with them. These, none of my hubs were really getting hot, but this one was starting to leak on the back seal here. And you pull your hub off. You could see some of the splatter around here. That's where it was, uh, it was leaking. So run, run your hand over your whole spindle. Make sure it's smooth, there's no burrs, anything. What you really wanna check this is uh, this wear sleeve here. This is where your seal actually rides on. You can replace this if it's messed up. As long as it's smooth, you're good. There's no burrs on it. Um, if you do have to replace it, I believe there's a O-ring that goes in the very back here. That's a larger diameter. There's an O-ring that goes underneath the center of it. Then you have to slide this on. So the next step is gonna be getting our back seal out of uh, this hub and then we'll get our races out. The best way I found to uh, get this out without actually having a remover is get a hammer and screwdriver and just angle it until you can pop through the side of the seal and you can just take the whole thing out. Alright, once you get your uh, seal out there, you can take your inner bearing out, you're going to have, uh, whoever put it in right, if it's from the manufacturer, you're definitely going to have uh, RTV silicone in there as a gasket maker. So the next step is going to be uh, cleaning up these inside to get your races out. I've been using just a punch to uh, get these races out. It's not too bad. It was just start on the inside. So here's your um, old races. Go to your auto parts store. You can rent. This is a bearing race driver and seal driver. Uh, you can buy them too. I think they're pretty cheap. But I just went to the auto parts store and picked one up. So this goes in here. This makes it super easy and you don't have to worry about messing up your race all right your next step is going to be to uh, pack your bearing full of grease most of these vault hubs have a grease fitting in the end you can screw in and it'll actually come out the side of your uh, wear ring and it'll fill this whole cavity up but mine has that but I still like to uh, pack these with at least some grease uh, it makes me feel better next step is going to be taking your uh, seal you put your bearing in here first obviously and then Take some of your uh, red 
high temp RGB silicone. Just lay down a bead all the way around this. All right, your biggest thing with this is you want this seal to just be flush with the outer edge. You don't want to drive this in too far. So make sure you get something that's a larger diameter than this. So you just get it perfectly flush. Try and clean all this excess off that you don't need. Try and clean the inside of that seal too. Make sure there's none on the inside of that. What you want to make sure is that you got a continuous bead all the way around the outside here. You don't have any gaps or holes in it. Uh, directions say to let this sit for an hour before you install it. Once your uh, RTV sets up in the back, next you're going to look in here in the front of your hub and there's an O-ring. You need to pop that out and put a new one in. This is what they look like. They also come with all the bearing kits that UFP sells. Take your hub. Slide it on. Let's take my outer bearing. Pack it full of grease. All right, once you get that situated, put your uh, spindle washer on and your nut on. And you wanna get this where you can wiggle. And I don't really wanna feel any play side to side or be able to pull in or out on it. But you don't wanna to be too tight either. Then take your uh, castle nut, find a spot where it fits, where it lines up. You can take your uh, cotter key and get that slid in there. All right, your next step is going to be to uh, Screw in this grease fitting. They're quarter 28 grease fittings. Grease gun on. Pump this thing full. You're going to pump it until it starts coming out of the uh, spindle washer. You can spin it a little bit, help get some air pockets out moving around it's just coming out from the front spindle washer you need to take your uh, cap these are the 198s you're going to fill your grease up to about the uh, top of this retaining ring in here the snap ring we are going to put blue uh, lock tight around this shoulder here. You got everything uh, lined up, ready to go. Take a grease fitting out, and then get your cap lined up. Take a two inch to a one and a half inch uh, PVC reducer here. Get it started. 
You can get it on. Make sure she's all the way in. And then wipe it off a little bit. And you want to make sure that this cap here is sticking out a little bit. That lets you know that it's pressurized. That you got enough oil in there. If it's if this doesn't pop out a little bit, then you're gonna have to uh, take this back off and either put more in your cap or a little bit more inside your hub here.